Hey traders, today's video is going to be very interesting because today we're going to see how you can plot custom candles like this onto the charts and custom bars that you can modify using the functions in PineScript. So for that, first let's go towards the Pine editor and here we're going to, first of all, we're going to define the plot candle function and this is a built-in function by the way which takes in bunch of parameters. Let me just go ahead and type plot candle. And inside here, you can see this function takes open, high, low, close as input to plot the candle. So if I just go ahead and provide these values, for example, if I provided open, high, low, and close, if I save it, and let me just comment this out. So if I save it and add it to the chart, you will see that this function will plot custom candles onto the chart. Now here you can see that there, there are custom candles being plotted onto the chart and the colors of these candles are blue but you can see there are same open high and low close price as the candles above here. And here if we want to make them look like when the candle is bullish its color should be green and when the candle is bearish like this its color should be red then we have to go ahead and define another variable that would be color variable and we can assign it a value of a red or green based on the conditional if it, the open is greater or lower than close. So for example, if open is greater than close, that would mean that candle is bearish. Then we wanna assign it the value of color dot red. And let me just go ahead and change this to question mark so this is a conditional by the way and now if the color is not green or if this condition is not true then the candle is bullish so we want to give it a color of green so let me just go ahead and type that and now here we can define or we can give value to this color parameter that will change the color of these blue candles so if i just go ahead and type color is equal to c then now if I just go ahead and save it, you'll see the colors of these blue candles will change. As you can see here, now the red candles are the bearish ones as we can see in the chart above and the green candles are the bullish ones as we can also see in the chart above. Now the other parameters that this plot candle function takes are the title, the wick color and the border color that are these are the most important ones. So if I just go ahead and define the wick color to be let's say wick color is equal to color dot white then our color our color of the border or wicks will turn into white and let me just go ahead and save it so here you can see the colors of these wicks have now turned into white let me just change this color from white to let's say orange then we'll see that this color will change into orange and even a better way would be to change this color as the same as the body of the candle. So we can just go ahead and assign this wig color a uh, value of C, which is the color of the body. So if I just go ahead and save it now, you'll see the green candles will have green wigs and the red candles will have red wigs. And next function or next parameter that we're gonna give it is the border color. And the border color for these candles, let's say if we want to change this border color to color dot white then now we'll see that borders of these candles will change to white and the bodies will be enclosed within that border so this is how you can define the custom plot candle function and use these parameters to change its value there are other parameters as well for example we can assign it a title or make it editable that takes in the value of either true or false depending on uh, do you want them to be edited or not and then there is show lost and display so you can also these parameters in your plot candle function now let me just go ahead and define the plot bar function that plots the bars onto the chart so let me just go ahead and comment this line out and here i'm going to define the plot bar and this function again is similar to the plot candle but instead of plotting the Japanese candlesticks it plots the bars and if I just go ahead and give it open high and low close values so for example open high low and close you'll see that now this function will plot the bars onto the chart and here you can see the bars are again being plotted with blue color 
I can go ahead and assign it a color of C. So if I just go ahead and say color is equal to C, and now if I save it, you'll see that green bars and red bars will be plotted onto the chart, as you can see here. All other parameters, just like the plot kennel function, you can use all these parameters to edit the bars, colors, and bar functionality. So this is how you use the plot kennels and plot bar function in your Python script, and you can plot custom kennels onto a chart depending upon your different conditions. For example, if you wanted to color a bar, if there was a bullish or bearish engulfing kennel, then you could change the colors of those bars, and there are thousands of possibilities that you can use these functions for. So I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I would love to answer them. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.